Florida. My name's Ethan. <laughs> and I'm Anthony. Oh. Today is Tuesday, May 8th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge for the flag. Nice voice crack. Thanks, man. <laughs> Here. Wait. Can, <laughs> Here, can someone tell them that we yeah. want a white shot? Oh. Do, we have oh, do you want to watch us? I don't want to risk messing with them. This. Well, what's this? Looks like it's this year's yearbook. Wow. Distribution of the 2018 edition of the Course Jet Yearbook will take place on Thursday and Friday during lunches. Pick up your pre ordered copy at lunch or bring along $80, tax included, for the few limited extra <laughs> copies available. Sophomores are reminded to get their money and order forms in for their official class t shirt. Deadline is Friday, class 2020. Any order forms, go to your homeroom teacher. There'll be a meeting of the Triumph Music Honor Society on Wednesday morning at 7.15 in the auditorium. Now over to Seth, uh, Beth Solinger, my bad, with the news. Thanks, man. <laughs> How are you so charming and muscular? I ask myself that every day. What's the year? Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? When I'm driving the car, I get to choose the radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. Welcome to Effort of PM. Thought I'd bring it to you real smooth. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear about... Hello, Effort It's so sad how fake news has infiltrated our media and our country. For example, Ethan calling me... Beth Sollinger, when my name is Seth Bollinger, is an example of fake news. Just one of the various examples on that AM. But, here's some more fake news for you. In a shocking twist of events, it turns out that the famous Swedish meatballs aren't actually Swedish at all. According to the nation's official Twitter account, the food is based on the recipe that King Charles XII brought home from a trip to Turkey in the early 18th century. Seems like you can't trust anyone anymore. On this day in 1945, America and Great Britain celebrated victory in, Eur in Europe after the long-awaited surrender of the German Nazi army. Pockets of German-Soviet fighting would still continue, but only for a little while as World War II came to a close. VE Day was not celebrated in Russia until the 9th, when Joseph Stalin gave a tribute to the Soviet people saying, Your courage has defeated the Nazis. The war is over. That was not Russian. Anyway, back to the main couch. Uh, for lunch, we have carnitas burrito bowl. Uh, grilled chicken patty or cheese with whole grain roll. Uh, Papa John's pizza. Bologna and chess sandwich. A uh, fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. Buffalo chicken salad. Fiesta beans. Steamed broccoli. Grape tomatoes and dip. Assorted fresh fruit. Or, or sports Sunday! intro video. Yeah, I got some uh, sports results for you today. In sports resorts, baseball won a low-scoring game 2-1 to one versus Donegal. Volleyball lost a close 3-2 to two games versus E-Town. And softball won 9-6 to six at Lebanon. Congratulations to the Section 2 champion girls track and field team. The Lady Mounts fought hard yesterday, previously unbeaten Elizabethtown for an 80-70 to 70 victory. Jenny Young has a was a double winner for the girls, while Alyssa Fedorchak had a key win in the 3,200-meter run. Candice Lebel, Alexis Clayton, Jenna Reeser, and Sarah McGivern also had wins for the girls' team, who finished the season with seven wins and zero losses, and their sixth section title in seven years. The boys also finished the season strong with a convincing 93.5 to 55.5 win at Elizabethtown, led by Eli Bazinga with three wins, and Jordan Zahm and Logan Usner with two wins. The Mountaineer boys complete their season with six wins and only one loss. Congratulations in both track and field teams for outstanding seasons, and the best of luck at this weekend's league's meet. Attention all current juniors, sophomores, and freshmen interested in playing fall sports. Sign-ups will be on Schoology again this year. Sign-ups will be available from May 1st through May 18th. Sign up today. Don't put it off.
Fall sports include boys and girls soccer, football, field hockey, girls tennis, girls volleyball, co-ed golf, and co-ed cross country. Today in sports, there's nothing being played. So go outside and enjoy the fresh air while we still have it. Uh, now back to the main couch. Is that you? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Did you know that Mr. Bischoff was nominated most beautiful girl in the school? It's not on the yearbook, but still. <laughs> winners of the senior, uh, winners of pick on the senior day. Please submit your ideas and contracts in Mr. Marzak's room, 137, by tomorrow, May 9th, at 3 p.m. Attention all ninth, attention all ninth and tenth grade students planning to attend college or another post-secondary school. We will be hosting a spring financial aid night in partnership with Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency on Thursday, May 10th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. Come to learn more about career exploration, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptop and your parents. This is a great opportunity to start planning for your future today. Look, Ethan, we even have our own page. Wow, if you want to see uh, Seth Ballinger in all of his glory, uh, buy the yearbook. It's uh, worth it. Sure. For their, for That's for this here. for this this for cutie and this, this oh and that yeah you yes. guys <laughs> even our own mascot made it yes it's oh, beautiful come this in. is 